What do we have over here? I'm in a cave again. More tin? Quartz? I can't tell if I'm in the cave or outside. It's half moony. Starry. Starry would have been a, a better word than moony, I think, but... They probably have a nest nearby. Yeah. Alright. I saw a little place where I could hop off this ram raft. Somewhere around here. Alright. So... First of all, more tin. We'll dig inwards a little bit. And then we'll do some prospecting on the inside of the cave. Right, I think that's good enough. It's a sample. It's a sample. And here's a sample. All right. Uh, what about this? Are there any nodes nearby? An eight by eight. Nope. Well, I tried. Hello, oh, crabs. Trying to keep an eye on the bottom of the sea. Alright. I'll do one more over here. Oh, wait, no. No nerd node search. Samples. Bismuth. Bismuthonite. Bismuthonite. Nearby here. Lots of quartz. Me through. All right. More flax. I'll take it. Please. going on in this area. It 
Cinnabar and Cassiterite. Mostly Cinnabar. All the quartz in the universe sticking out of the walls. I wonder if that's the best way to look for minerals. Just find cliff walls and see things hanging out. Seems like the way I've found everything interesting so far. Oof, that is a death pit. Good afternoon, old man. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon to you. Failure, right? Yeah, I'm getting farther away from the Cassiterite. It seems like, uh, seems like the brown locust nest is where I want to be. I sure would love to see the, the things I'm looking for just kind of hanging out in this canyon. All the quartz in the world. This is the biggest quartz vein in history. real life I once went caving and it was one of the scariest things I've ever done and my my caving instructor told me like we we're going uh, deep deep in the cave it would take several hours and we would eventually get to the treasure room and I was like okay so it's all gonna be worth it we're gonna like pop out into this big shiny spectacular area when I got to the treasure room uh, it was just one quartz deposit uh, it was fairly big like as far as quartz deposits go it, it was kind of neat but like the room uh, was not a room it was a place where you could only get by crawling was about uh, two feet high at the most and the rest of the cave was all completely mud so I can see why they'd call it treasure because it's like the one right white rock in this muddy slippery sharp mess that you crawled through for hours Would not recommend. Like I, I was doing two things at once. I, I was doing rock climbing and caving in two different classes. I thought rock climbing would be the scariest. I, I, more afraid of heights than I am of the dark. But, uh, let's see, Marsh Failure, right? And Ilmenite. I don't know what those are. But what I discovered was, uh, 
I'm not really that scared of heights. I'm scared of heights when I'm not secured to anything. Tie a ton of ropes around me, like, I'll dangle off a cliff. I trust the ropes. But uh, when I was caving, at some point I realized that I couldn't get in and out of the cave under my own power. And I was suddenly dependent on uh, everyone around me to get out of there alive. Well, not alive, but if I got stuck down there. Some clarification on prospecting. Density pick does not indicate the presence, just the chance of it spawning in that chunk. Yeah. Well, that's partially why I... Okay, so it's a 0.1%. The very poor means highly unlikely. Ultra high means very likely. That's all well and good. I was hoping to find things more than like 0% or 0.1%. 0 so, yeah, let's beat up this area, for example. So I'm looking for Cassiderite. Yeah, I've got a 0% chance. 0.5% chance. So for that one, like 1 in 200 of these blocks might have... Oh, uh, what was that? It was Ilmenite. Percent indicate the position of where the center of the ore node is if it's spawned. The highest dollar indicates you're somewhere in the middle of the possible nodes. So prospecting on the edge here, I might be getting half of the density because it's like my position towards the center. That's a dead bunny. And there's definitely no ore node spawning behind me out there. So, oh, well, first of all, high Cassiterite. So, this is it, this is the area. But because I made a triangle with that. I, I think I understand what you're saying now. When I'm using the prospecting pick. I'm making an area. I make a triangle and it tells me how likely it is for Cassiterite to be there or in the, that triangle. Okay, so if I do this, tell me there's something nearby. Verified large amounts of Cassiterite, exactly what I'm looking for. All right. Now find the middle by getting the highest percent. 
I found tin. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I am carrying too much stuff. I don't need flax. I don't need reeds. The node search looks for actual ore. The density mode looks for where it might be. Yes. I think I knew that from my vague understanding of how things work. But I think you did help me understand the, the density search a little better. I don't know how to explain it with words. Like you're, you're triangulating with that. So if I, if I did, say, three ore nodes on the same x-axis, I would be doing a triangle search of a straight line, and I would never find anything. But if I do this, build a triangle over here. Very high considerate. There's more tin. Correct. Place north, south, east, and west of it. Uh, get the direction the percent is increasing all right so I was actually getting a higher percent of considerate like here than actually inside the cave. So if there is Cassiterite, like it's more likely, say this way. Oh, what am I doing? Well, well now, okay. I can work with this. So if I get like a 2% in here, which I do, And the Cassiterite is like in this weird triangle here. So I'm just going to dig right through the mountain.
just like that. And my delicious, delicious cassiterite will be right through here. I have decided. Give me a node search. Alright. Trace amounts. Somewhere in here. How dare it. Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. Just stair step it down. Run out of food. Let's see. Stop it, rocks. Let's eat these raw onions. That'll keep me going. And just eat raw grain. Or can. Sounds spooky in here. Now dig. Huh, dirt. One block tunnels in three directions. Try density search again. You can try tunnel down as well. Do a node search at the end of each tunnel as well. Okay, so I do a triangle here. Uh, too close. Hang on. Still high considerate. Let's find that considerate. I know I was seeing trace amounts up at the top. There's none that way. Nothing that way. Okay, and trace amounts this way. So I'm going the wrong way. I need to be going this way. Yeah. 
Now the amount should increase, hopefully. It would make me so happy if I could find Cassiterite before this stream is over. Alright. Medium amounts. Yeah. The amount's getting higher. So cold, can't type. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're in... Are you in Australia or New Zealand? I can't remember. Got a cold front moving through. I'm starting to get a few view er, viewers from, uh, oh, South Africa. Also, well, it is winter over there. Ridiculously hot where I am. In medium amounts here still. Okay. Let's change directions a little bit. And we'll make a triangle. So yeah, it's gotta be the dead of winter in uh in South Africa, right? If I understand how hemispheres work. also reminds me of something that's happened since I started streaming. I've discovered that my phone basically listens to my conversations. And is Mutha Knight. Dig four blocks, test fourth. Okay. Well, this triangle's a little bigger. And four. Well. I consider right. I feel like the percentage went down there. No test, not density. 